Hello out there, this might interest you if you would like to, yeah, to adjust perimeters to walls in the height. What do I have here? I have a simple normal wall with simple openings in it and I want to give an adjustable perimeter to it. I made one. I just uh, activate it. I go to planning, planning extras, wall add-on. It's a GDL for the wall add-on. Then I take it. It just has not the right picture on it until now. I just wanted to show it to you. And I tell it okay to be here. So you see it's just segmented and now having the walls activated I go to planning solid element this one and I go to set targets the four walls here four then operator just not have not enough uh, I just don't have other library parts in it so I can activate it with Apple E with Apple A with this so operator then subtraction with uh, down below and make it so so if I just take this and take that I can adjust it as I want you see the openings are still cut out the add-ons knows this and also here of course the segments you can adjust if you don't need so much segments you just can put it to two or so, something like this. Okay, here it is. So now I would like to make a profile wall out of it, normal wall, profile wall, and I take my. Okay. As you can see, it just cuts out it smoothly and you can just adjust it as you want. If you have a terrain that's something not straight. And what you can do also, I just made horizontal segments, but let me here. That means waagrecht is horizontal. That means you can do it polygonal as well. So if you want to adjust something like this, I just wouldn't would not do this really because it's very hard to make it for the woodworkers. But you can do this also if you want it. So I have a normal wall, my GDL, applied to the wall with the wall add-on that you have to download and install, install first and then you can do something like this. And it does not operate if the walls are profile walls. You have to operate it with normal walls and if you have uh, got the SOE. Nah, yeah. <laughs> if you uh, had have applied the wall add-on, then later you can switch to profile and it will do it anyway. But uh, the wall add-on will not work if it's a profile wall. So before it has to be a normal wall, apply the wall add-on and then switch the wall to a profile wall. So it will function. I will give this 
show it to you. There are not much parameters, just this one to the normal uh, add-on parameters. And in 2D, it's just the project 2. And in 3D, uh, there are just cut planes uh, for the wall edges. Then some sim simple uh, calculations with the editable hotspots here for the X and here for the set height. And then it does it does uh, a group and a second group for the wall cutting body. And in the first group, mm, okay, it was too, too fast. It's really simple. If it's uh, horizontal, it does this. If it's poly polygonal, it does, it does this. It always takes the profile here also. And here it's differences between polygonal. This is the polygonal part. And here is the horizontal part. It's just a Z-prism for horizontal. It's a tube for polygonal. That's all. I hope you can use it. I will give it as a PLA file. file. OK, I have to make a picture here. I can do it here in the video. This should be a good picture for it. I just... Mm, OK, let's do it with a normal... picture, go to this, preview, and save it, Apple S, and now this thing, Apple T, now you can see it in this way. Okay. Save. Save as. Oh, I got archive. Oh, I got archive. Save. Okay, I will upload it on Dropbox so you can download it and try it. Have a nice day. Greetings from Austria, from Salzburg.